is up folks, Jorge Anito here. Thanks for stopping by and welcome back. My friends, today we're taking a look at the newest offering from Black Roses, Polyantha, the second edition. Yes, the V2s. This is the second borderless offering from Black Roses. Uh, we'll take a look at these and we'll also take a look at an effect that you can use with the unique GAV card that is included with this deck. So without further ado, my friends, let's take a look at the Polyantha V2. The second edition Polyanthas were paired with the Lavenders in the recent successful Lavender campaign. Well, the cool thing about both these decks, they're both marked. Um, so you have the traditional uh, Black Roses design here on the Lavender, but these are fully, fully marked. Uh, reader back too, so they're super easy. I was going through these last night, super easy to read. Um, these, however, are not reader back. The markings are still very easy to pick up on, but you, you may remember the marking system from the original Polyanthus. Um, yeah, so that's kind of what's going on. Very cool cards. And you can also notice while I'm showing the original Polyanthus, you can, you can see the difference in the cards. Whereas Snyder originally went with the uh, classical Black Roses as part of the design for the original Polyantha. With the second edition, he went with the Hotel Casino Roses, which are, as you can see, quite a bit different um, than, than the original. Um, so that was a really cool choice to go with. Let's go ahead and crack these open. USPCC, their pool tabs lately have just been on point, just just perfect, uh, no issue at all with the pool tabs. So the tuck box, you'll see up at the the tuck flap, you have Snyder's signature. You have the Polyantha second edition design wrapped all the way around the tuck. On the bottom, you have some ad copy, one of 1,000 Polyantha playing cards, 2021. I'm always nervous I'm going to bend the tuck flap in some way. With this deck, you'll receive two identical jokers. As well as... This gaff card, I'm, I'll have to reach out and ask Daniel what he calls this card. I just call it like a mesh card where two cards are meshed together. Um, you'll also receive a double backer. Look at that Ace of Spades. Uh, before we talk much about the faces, though, let's, let's uh, check out this back design. Um, you can see that it has this kind of like the stinger effect going on with the with the faded edges however that is is not what's happening here this is actually something brand new that hasn't been done before now so you'll recall with the the stingers the design the, is a full bleed full bleed design that fades to white this however just fades out ever so faint so it doesn't fade out completely to white something that USPCC has never done before um, something new and it turned out great. So you just have that ever so slight worn look and just spreading through the cards. I mean, they just, they look wonderful, you know. Very reminiscent of some old, uh, some old playing cards like the Bee Stingers, uh, Madison Players, you know, cards like that. Um, unique feature with this Ace of Spades, since the Polyantha design is in the Ace of Spades, what you could do is, it looks really good in a spread. It looks like the design is bleeding up through the Ace. I don't know if that uh, camera is picking that up or not. Unique feature, minimalistic. Uh, Snyder is the godfather of minimalistic design. We'll run through the cards very quickly and then get into this gaff card trick. Everything is redesigned from the ground up when Snyder um, designs a deck of cards. Another unique feature about these cards is with the original Polyantha, everything was in black and white. And while this is still, 
I regard one of my favorite decks of all times. That was my only qualm, was that the color changes, in my opinion, weren't as effective. Yeah, you could you could change the cards and stuff. Um, and I know that he was going for, you know, just pure minimalism, just bare bones uh, right here. And it, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful deck of cards. However, with the second edition, there is collar. Uh, we do have collar now. And you can see just there. Uh, we'll check out some courts here. Still black and white, but you just have that red added in. And it just looks really good. Of course, you have a reveal there on the King of Diamonds. Clean, crisp cards. This queen looks really unique. It almost seems like something is spelled out right there. I'm not sure. You have a reveal in her hand as well. Beautiful, beautiful deck of cards. Absolutely. We'll take that one out as well as this one. And uh, my friends, there you have it. There are only a thousand of these. Most of them are gone uh, as part of the, the campaign. However, I think there's a few hundred left. And by a few hundred, I just mean like two or three hundred. So the Black Roses is where you'll find them. I don't think that he's updated them to the site just yet, but you'll definitely want to keep an eye on these because once these are gone, they're gone. Uh, like I said, very limited run, very desirable deck. I would say they'll fetch somewhere upwards of $40, $50 once they're all wiped out by third-party sellers, um, unfortunately. But they are a super, super desirable deck. So let's get into something you could do with this card. So one more time, exposed view, displaying the cards. And you're left clean. That's what I like about this. I probably prefer something like this over Pop Shove It because you're left clean. Remember with the original Pop Shove It, you know, you do the, the change, but then, you know, you have a double. With this, you're left completely clean because the cards rotate. They, they just fall down and uh, face down on the deck while this card gets kicked face up from the bottom. It's a really nice thing. You can display the card. But um, let's go ahead and get into some specifics. I would kind of like to start. The ideal would just be to just show that, hey, it's a deck of cards. They see the back design to where you could flip over the top cards. It's just, you know, hey, let's use the top two cards. Very random cards. You know, it's not like it's the Ace of Spades or, you know, Queen of Hearts or something. <laughs> um, it's the Two of Diamonds and Eight of Spades. So there shouldn't be much suspicion at all. And I like to just kind of display them like that. Now, you don't want them to see anything happening with this thumb. So, as I'm kind of just displaying, then that's when I come down with the thumb and get prepared for the, the kicking action or the popping move. And right when I'm getting ready to drop these cards, all they're doing is just rolling off my fingertips as I release with the thumb really all they're doing is just <laughs> rotating off of my they're just dropping down off my fingertips they're just rolling off as soon as these cards are as soon as you release with the thumb really that's when you want to do the popping move so there should be enough, you would think this would be more angle sensitive. It is an angling move, but it's not as bad as what you think. Um, so just something to play around with there. Uh, from there you can go into the display, show that, hey, there's two cards. I mean, you know, there's nothing to see here. Um, it's a cool souvenir to hand out. And I always want to encourage you, if you have a gaff card that you're using and something like this, hand it out as a souvenir you know i know that we pay money for these cards and you want to hang on to the gaffs i have in my experience it is more powerful more meaningful especially for the spectator and for me when i just hand this out because they take this home and you know put it in a desk or drawer somewhere and then they 
you know, look at it one day and they remember that time when when that guy done this really cool trick and he let me have this card and it's I can't explain it but it's a cool thing it, it really is powerful so definitely give away uh, your gaff cards I've given away a ton of gaff cards um, you know over my time so guys there you have it that is Polyantha V2 and a little effect to go along with it I'm sure Snyder has something very specific in mind for that gaff and if you keep an eye on his Instagram I'll leave a link below you may find him doing uh, something with it. So, guys, Jorge Anito here signing off. Have a good weekend. Be blessed.